Hey everyone, it's KitKat. Uh, surprise, I'm in my PJs. <laughs> um, I think for, I think this is like the first time in a couple of months that I'm not in my uniform um, doing a vlog. I like this. Um, I'm actually in my room chilling out in front of the fan. So if you hear a little buzzing, that's the fan uh, behind my phone. Um, yeah, I just, I could not do a vlog like I did the last vlog without following up on giving an update on my mental health. Um, so, um, surprise, I am doing fine. I feel so much better um getting out my truth if i can't talk to <laughs> yeah the sad part is is that the person that i was talking about is also uh also watches my vlogs like continuously um i know you love me and stuff but no um that that's not scary at all um it's a cross between being sarcastic and, you know, um, kind of like the all time vibe that I've had, um, the whole day. Like, um, if you have followed me for more than, you know, a couple of months on my vlogs, I, um, get very candid about my mental health and you know where I stand and um yeah today was this morning you have to be where I was emotionally um if you have not watched my vlog uh brace yourself I was a little spicy I was a little angry a little frustrated I I felt all of the feels. It wasn't just like a little feel. It was all of it. I don't know if it's because um of the general um I don't know. I seriously, I think it was a cum, you know, accumulation of um I didn't sleep very well last night. Um and within the past couple of days, um, instead of giving me time, my quote, you know, the dude that I had been seeing just kept on pushing. Like, and then he, yeah, you keep on pushing me, I'm going to become the bitch that you claim that I'm going to be. And, um, did I prove him right? not necessarily like in all honesty um that the last vlog that i had done this morning was because i wasn't being heard like all of the shit that i had said about this guy was true i didn't i you know i stopped calling him on the phone because um the dude puts my talking to shame like why should I call somebody when all they're going to do is talk over me I would rather have a 50-50 conversation with you you talk a little bit I talk a little bit you talk a little bit we laugh um, and all of that stuff or I cry or whatever but usually that's how it uh, goes and I don't usually talk on the phone all like that I know uh, no disrespect to him but you know I I said that like I don't you know I I didn't feel comfortable talking to him over the phone and he got pissy with that like everything that you know I explained you know, I felt like I was the bad guy, and, uh, it wasn't until, you know, 
the last text message. I think if it wasn't for me reading the last text message that he sent to me, um, the last vlog that uh, you probably saw would have been a totally different vlog altogether. I would have been totally oblivious to the nastiest uh, vlog that, or the nastiest text that I got from him. Basically telling me that I shouldn't have boundaries and I shouldn't, uh, yeah. Like, I think what really, like, I can't, the thing that I can't let go is the simple fact that as soon as I put boundaries down because I felt uncomfortable is when he started the whole, you need to let go, like, paragraphs like four or five paragraphs on how bad of a person I am because he doesn't understand boundaries um you know and I think that's what got me like like I said if I hadn't read his text message at like 6 30 in the morning on my way to work um I don't think um, the vlog would have been that spicy. It would have been me being like doing my coffee and uh, chit chat, walk and talk with me. Um, it, it just was all too much. And the simple fact that we had an uh, exchange of words uh, yesterday a very long conversation where it was mostly a whole shitload of um paragraphs you know you need to do this you let this slide you let that slide i'm so confused for fuck's sake shut the fuck up and let me talk to you imagine that um and I think that's what, yeah, just everything. Um, you know, I'm not trying to be sarcastic, but if you don't let a bitch talk to you the way that she needs to, my last vlog is, you know, how I erupted. Like, that was all of the pent up emotions. Am I feeling a little bad about it? No, it needed to be said. Um, I have no regrets. I knew who was going to watch it. I knew who needed to watch it. And seriously, if I ever, <laughs> yeah, I just wanted to, you know, I wanted people to understand that, you know, boundaries are not a bad thing. Like, I was trying to teach the dude, hey, you know, I even warned the guy, can you give me time? And all he ever, yeah, yeah, the disrespect was, well, you need to tell me where I'm at, you know, where am I, are we, you know, just the snotty attitude of, are we going to only do this for the weekend? Dude, you uh, work 70 hours a week. I work 30, you know, 25 to 30 hours a week. Like, you have the weekends off. I don't. It was that type of deal. Like, if he would have actually let me express what I needed to say, uh... The, that vlog wouldn't have happened so um yeah and I realized that not everything is my fault like the whole yeah the last I still can't believe the last text message he's like oh yeah it's not a me thing it's a you you need to stop blaming other people you need to own up to your own shit dude like, I, if I'm forced 
to own up to all of the stuff that you throw at me, bitch, you know I'm going to, you know, say something. And yeah, it was the only way that I could express myself without judgment. I'm still getting worked up because I, yeah. I'm sorry, I cannot stand disrespectful people. Like, if you want respect, it has to be fucking earned. Like, <laughs> I think it's so funny that I'm, like, doing a round two. <laughs> but it, at least I'm in the comfort of my home and I'm not in my work uniform. <laughs> so, like, uh, best believe that um after the vlog though i did block him um and like i said the only reason why i blocked him is because i needed space if this vlog if my vlogs are the only communication that i have of the subject it will be a peaceful one because, um, like, I couldn't deal with it, you know. He gave me no peace, you know. He basically gave me no peace, so, um, yeah. I'm still a little hurt. <laughs> I'm still a little mad. Um, I still need to take a nap. I'm not so much hungry, I just need to take a nap. Um, and I'm afraid to because it's like three, four o'clock. Yeah, it's four o'clock right now. If I fall asleep now, I won't go t uh, to bed later on and I have to open. Like, don't get me wrong. He was sweet as could be, you know, on our date. Paid for everything. Like I said in my last video, he paid for everything. But if you are going to turn around and make me feel like shit because you did pay for everything because you asked me to go on a date, you know, if I would have known that I was going to be, you know, bitched at because he thought I was a gold digger, <laughs> I would have never gone on the date. Like, as soon, yeah. That was yesterday. Oh, well, it's okay for me to buy everything. Bitch, you got the car. You wanted me, you wanted to hang out with me. You know, it just goes to show that, you know, you can't love somebody. You can't fall in love with somebody the first date. Like, I, yeah, you can't push somebody to love you. Because, or say I love you, uh, you know, five hours after you date them, which he did. And I think that's what really scared me, is you can't fall in love on just one date. And, yeah. And it's, it's sad, but it's also true. Like, um... You don't, you don't know me. Like, I, I tell everybody who watches my videos, just because you watch my videos, just because you watch my vlogs, you don't know a person. At that particular time in the vlog, I was feeling some sort of way. But it was also, it could have been like a year ago or even today. So, you know. I think I just got, you know, he wanted to desperately love me and didn't care about the consequences and if I'm going to love you, I'm going to love you the way that I need to in the way that is healthy for me and yeah, so yeah. I think the biggest takeaway, like I said, I'll, I'll repeat it and I don't care if I repeat it, somebody is going to watch this vlog 
hell, it might have been the dude that I dated, you know, went on a date with. You can't love somebody by just one date. You know? Like, I was so frustrated. I, I wasn't really angry. I was more frustrated because I wasn't able to regulate my feelings the way that I needed to. Um, you should read the paragraphs. Like, reading through our text messages from yesterday, that's a lot. There's like six or seven pages of him just saying, For God's sake, just let it go. The past is in the past. Dude, nobody was telling you about my fucking past. You know, I was just telling you that I don't want to hug you. That doesn't mean that my past has to be thrown in my face. Or that, you know, you're so hung up on your ex. No the fuck I'm not. You, like I said, you know, and I will say it again. You don't fucking know me. Nobody does. You know. But I am humble enough. I think it's a humbling experience to block somebody like that because, um, and it's not to be mean. I needed to block this person because I was this close to having like a heart attack because I was giving, I was so stressed out. Like this dude was like, you know jumping from one side of the fence to another either he wanted to give me a chance we got to work this up we got to work this together um you need to get your shit together um i'm perfect like the whole demeanor um all of that was not necessary and it was a big red flag like the whole conversation yesterday which stemmed from everything that I was feeling today you know and I am totally grateful for this platform and for my YouTube channel to be able to do vlogs like this because um it's hard you know I made it a goal to go out on a real date. I did it. Um, too bad the person that I went on a date with, you know, couldn't see the truth, you know, felt offensive because I wanted to put up boundaries. And that's all it was. Oh, I totally understand boundaries, but you let me do this and you let me do that. Dude, if I let you do every, you know, the thing is, I think that's what really pissed me off um, when he said that to me, you know, texting that to me. You let me do uh, what I wanted on the first date. If I let you, dude, if I let shit slide the first date, and let you do, you know, do more, like, I don't know you, you could have sexually assaulted me, like, you know, I'm not a people pleaser anymore, like, I, yeah, I'm glad that I didn't have sex with him, for fuck's sake, like, imagine if I had sex with the dude. Oh, you let me have sex with you on the first date. Well, fuck off. At least your, you, your dick is intact. But I digress. I wanted to do this vlog, you know, to, to, um, basically show, be careful how you treat somebody. Like, this is what you get. So. Will I... Yeah, the thing is, is like... Someone had asked me today, will you unblock him? And 
the short answer is, yeah, once I talk to my therapist and I'm able to <laughs> lash out at her, at least she gets paid for it. Um, no, I will, I will unblock him when I feel stronger, when I feel like I am heard. I think it was just astonishing. Yeah. I don't know. I did this vlog for a reason. I think it's just to show, you know, the aftermath of the disrespect, you know. Be kind to people. Like, you know, if you don't know something or if you don't understand um, or you're confused with somebody, shut the fuck up and let the person uh, talk without judgment. That's how I felt. I felt like I wasn't like, yeah, it was, it was just, yeah, I felt like I, my, my thoughts, my opinions didn't matter. So, but thank you for watching this vlog. Um, hopefully <laughs> I didn't scare you yet again with this vlog. Um, but yeah, in time I will unblock him. We will talk, but as of right now, I'm keeping him blocked on, uh, at least from texting me at least because that was a mental mind fuck that he played yesterday um and then tried to play this morning yeah i'm not down for mental da mental games like yeah i think that's my new i think that's the the thumbnail for this video i'm not I'm not the one, this is what you get when you play mind games with somebody. But, again, thank you guys for watching the vlogs. If you like what you see, um, push the subscribe button, like, share, watch this video a thousand times, I don't care. Um, just thank you for the support like i know i will be back to my regular kit kat self i'm just going through that terrible 40 stage of i don't have to change i don't need to fix me so um but anyway thank you for watching the vlog i am going to take a nap maybe eat something first. I'm a little hangry. Have a great day, you guys.